Hey guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we're doing my March TBR. So last year I did a realistic March TBR and we're doing the same thing this year. It's going to be a very small TBR because I haven't been reading as much physically as I have been listening to on audio. And I have the audiobook-a-thon coming up in about a week. Uh, I will link that up here in the cards if you guys want to check it out. It's an audiobook only readathon, which I'm very excited about. So we'll actually be reading even less than normal because I'll be trying to cram as many audiobooks as I can in at once. I will also be having a spring TBL video, which is a to be listened to video for all of the things that I want to listen to on audiobook for spring aside from the audiobook on TBR video is also up already. So I'll link it up here in the cards. But these are all the things that I want to physically read for March. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to them all, but this is like what I have in my head. I did terrible for my February TBR and also my January TBR. Okay, so continuing on from February, I would like to keep going in the Akatar series. It's a few days before the end of February now, so I know I haven't gotten to this book yet. There's a chance I might start this before March, but I'm gonna guess no. I'm gonna guess I'm not gonna finish in time. Or not this one, but this one. <laughs> but anyway, I am really enjoying the series. I am slowly vlogging it, sort of. I'm doing a bad job with that. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get to both of these and the novella set, but it depends on on how they go. They are easier to read than I expected for how pretty large they are. So this is a fae fantasy series, if you're not familiar. Then continuing on from January, I would like to continue on with the Canaan Chronicles. So I'd like to get to Ice Kissed and Crystal Kingdom. This is a library copy. I really enjoyed this particular fantasy series. It's kind of like a goblin fantasy series and it's just more fun and kind of lighthearted but dark at the same time and kind of badass. I really enjoyed the first one which is Frostfire and I want to continue on before I forget what happened in Frostfire, especially since I'm reading Akatar right now and they're kind of similar, like not really, but they're fantasy. The girl's kind of hardcore. There's a little bit of fairy action, so I want to make sure that I don't get them confused and I want to see if I like the whole series because I need to find this one um, for myself. But yay. I would like to finally read Lord of Shadows because I still haven't read this and I absolutely loved Lady Midnight. So this is part of the Dark Artifices trilogy. I do think you need to read the other series that Cassandra Clare has written in order to read this. I just think you're not going to like this trilogy if you haven't read the other ones because so much ties into all the other stories and it's just kind of a whole world. But I do really need to read this one still and Queen of Shadows and a couple of novellas and things. I'm kind of like full on this Cassandra Clare train now and this one I'm surprisingly not as worried about because it's so huge. Um, it's like almost 700 pages but I get through Cassandra Clare books so quickly. Like I just, I fly through them. It's like they're not even 600 pages. So hopefully I can finally, finally at least get to this one. And then I'm throwing one on here that's kind of random. I didn't put this on my February TBR even though I found it in February because I forgot. So this is The Grace Here by Kim Leggett or Legit. So I actually didn't have a ton of interest in this book, but then I found this copy and it's so pretty. It's so pretty, it's a Target edition. So it's very strange and I'm a little bit worried that it's gonna be like kind of political rather than fantasy or sci-fi. So the girls in this, like something happens when they turn like 16 and they release these like overly powerful, magical, feminine, I don't know, not like an odor, but something that attracts men so strongly that they have to take the girls and send them somewhere else so as not to like lure all the men in the town. Um, and I think that they put them on an island, which is one reason why I'm, I do want to read it because I love island setting. And this might be the kind of weird that I like. I have a feeling it's going to be more like feminist in the way that I personally don't enjoy, like in a man-hating way. I just don't like books that are like like that. <laughs> like, I, like I'm all about girl power and everything but I don't like bashing on men. So we'll see. I'm really nervous about it but I want to re read this one especially because it only came out a couple months ago. I think like in October of last year. If I don't like it I can trade it really quickly because it's going to be like a hot commodity on my like on my trading group. So <laughs> I don't know. I hope I really like it. I will probably know pretty fast whether or not I'm going to like it and I might do it on audiobook. We'll just see how my reading month goes. So those are my realistic reads for March. 
just, I don't know you guys, I have not been doing good physically reading still. I don't know if it's just because I have so many things happening, I'm just doing not as good reading before bed, I'm feeling like I need to be doing other things instead of reading now, so we'll just see. I'm hoping I can start like tanning and getting more reading in and just enjoying my reading time again. I feel like I'm just kind of going in waves now, like October was like a super good reading month for me and I think July was like a good reading month and things like that rather than just having like every month be a good reading month. We'll see. Cross your fingers, let me know what you guys are reading down below in the comments, let me know if you're participating in audiobookathon, and I'll see you guys next time on the bright side. Crystal Kingdom. Ah. <laughs>